Hey guys, so today I want to do a review and little introduction to this guy right here. This is the Oppressor Blast Shield from Strike Industries, and it pairs with other muzzle brakes from Strike Industries as well. This one right here in particular is the King Compensator. It's a muzzle brake slash compensator combo essentially. And if you're unfamiliar with what muzzle brakes do in general, is they reduce recoil and oftentimes linear muzzle rise because we got these ports on the sides so all that force and gas from shooting is going to be shooting out the sides instead of coming back to you you're going to feel it coming out the sides more and also the top forcing the barrel to stay down more and flatter and that's that's the benefits essentially less recoil and less rise however the con with this is for one there's more flash more fireballs sometimes you'll see and two is all that concussion will be coming out the sides. And if you're maybe next to a buddy or whatever, if you're room clearing, he got close to you, that concussion would be, would be really discomfortable. I mean, discomfortable, is that a word? Discomfortable, no, uncomfortable. It would be really uncomfortable, okay? It'd be loud, very loud, and he could feel a shockwave. Like this is, this stuff is no joke. So to remedy that, there's blast shields out there, okay? This is one in particular that's made just for this one. There's other companies that make other blast shields for other muscle devices, but this one in particular from Strike Industries pairs with this guy, okay? But this one, however, which makes it different from other blast shields is this one was designed to still maintain a lot of the benefits of less recoil and less muzzle rise and negate all that sideways con concussion. So you put that guy on, ratchet it down, That's on there, really strong. It has a really cool look to it as well. It's really aggressive, and you know, I like it. I ran a uh, A2 flash hider when I was after duty on the M4s, M16s. Those are fine. I mostly just got this because I wanted to experiment, but I do like having this to reduce a lot of that concussion. You know, when I was at the range before, I could feel the shock waves coming off this thing when my buddy was shooting it and he could feel it too. It's, just, it's pretty loud and it's pretty concussive about this thing. And then with this thing, obviously it redirects a lot of that energy forward. And yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it. So if you have a muscle break and you don't have a blast shield, that's something to maybe look into. If you have one from Strike Industries in particular, I would definitely recommend looking at this guy. I've had this guy for over a year. It's worked great. Uh, it's 1095 carbon steel, black nitrite finish, quick detach, easy to use, looks great, and it's, I haven't had any issues with it at all, actually. Here's a closer look for you guys. You can see all these vents right here. So this thing was designed specifically to maintain the benefits of the muzzle brake, but still redirects the force forward. And that's through computer-aided flow dynamics with advanced internal geometry that draws the gases through the vents and this acts as a linear break. So you still get that protectiveness on the sides from that concussion, but you're still gonna maintain those, all those benefits based on how this thing was designed. And when I've fired this thing, it's really, really low recoil. It's like minimal recoil with this guy. And then I definitely noticed the reduction in concussion from the side to side blast, all those gases escaping. I'll show you here in the next clip, showing you with and without this thing, what it does to objects that are on the side of the muzzle. Alright guys, so as you can see, having a blast shield on the muzzle brake definitely does help reduce that sideways concussion. Okay, And this one in particular still helps maintain a lot of those benefits that this King Compensator gives, like the less recoil, etc. Price, this thing costs about 100 bucks, so FYI. Also, there's actually a newer version of this coming out, or it's already out. It's called the Oppressor Light. It comes in a variety of colors. It's about three ounces lighter, and it also has a improved quick detach system, which makes it quicker and easier to take on and off. Now, I think this one's already pretty easy, but that one's supposedly even easier, so maybe keep your eyes peeled for that one. And also leave a comment below if you guys could. Tell me what do you guys usually use? Do you guys use flash hider muzzle devices or muzzle brakes, compensators? What do you use? And do you already use a blast shield like this one? I'm really curious to know guys, so let me know. Um, other than that, that's all I got for today. Hope you guys learned something. 
All right, so stay safe, take care, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.